Hello, my name is Carl. I'm Two Echo Zero Echo Zulu Tango, and in this video, we're going to have a look at the what's called a personal roll radio. So the personal roll radio is a radio that is worn by majority of the frontline British soldiers. So it's a radio that's got a short. It's a short range radio. Uh, used by individual soldiers. I think most of the British uh, frontline infantry wear these. I think some US special forces and maybe some UN soldiers wear, wear these as well. Um, it's a, like I say, it's a short range radio. Uh, it works on the 2.4 gigahertz. It's only a few milliwatts of power. I think the maximum range is probably about 500 meters. It's only meant to like keep a squad of um, soldiers together when they're when they're working together, um, and so basically each radio comes with a a, a headset uh, such as this. Um, it's a sixteen channel uh, radio set here. Um, it uses what's called a broad spectrum um, that transmission. Um, so basically, because the, the, these older versions are not encrypted, but because it, it spreads the the signal over a sort of broader um, part of the spectrum, there there's less chance of jamming and uh, less chance of being uh, intercepted. Um, so rather than these, these early versions, they didn't come in, encrypted. The newer versions do come encrypted, apparently. Uh, so these ones are, are no longer in, in use. Um, each radio comes with a pouch uh, on there as well. I've, I happen to, got, happen to have two of these radios. So here's the second one. I'll just take this one out of the pouch and I'll show you a bit more detail. Some of this radio. So just give me a few seconds just to slide this out. Um, this... The, the radio is powered by AA batteries, um, so the batteries will just go into here. Uh, so it uses standard AA batteries to, uh, let's just take this, um, <clears throat> yeah, so it uses, uh, uh, I think it uses two AA batteries, much easier to manage the batteries when you're using the um, commercial type of batteries. The, um, the headphone uses a very tiny little um, five pin, um, plug it socket. I'll just show you that in there. Uh, so it's a five pin um, socket there for the headset. The antenna um, is an SMA uh, antenna. Um, so uh, obviously it's um, cut and tuned for the 2.4 gigahertz um, we can't really get we can't get this on the air we can't do an on-air test of this because of uh, it operates even though it's only a very low um, output on it it is in the 2.4 gigahertz um, area um, and it may interfere um, with um, some satellite signals and uh, maybe even some more localized stuff as well uh, I think to use a 2.4 gigahertz uh, frequency, you have to use an NOV to operate on there. So I'm not going to gate on the air. That's that's not going to happen. Um, on the side of the radio, uh, you see there's a side uh, compartment here, a side unit, and um, these uh, undo and this comes out. Uh, there's uh, different variations of the side unit. This one has, if you notice, it's got two PT t PTT buttons. Uh, this is your standard PTT button that all of these radios have with them um, But this has got the second button here and it's also got this Connector which I'm holding uh, and this fits a standard sort of Bowman. Let me get down to there Fits a standard Bowman radio. So this can be used to actually uh, operate a, a second radio as well um, so you could talk through the actual radio, this radio, or you could use it as a remote for another radio. These also come with a remote PTT. So each of these would be tuned with each particular radio. Um, and this um, operates on the 433 megahertz uh, band. 
um, and this has got about a two metre range. So this could actually be fastened onto, um, uh, you know, onto an arm or even onto a, onto a weapon at the end for triggering the radio. Um, <clears throat> like I say, it's 16 channel. The, the channels are actually programmed. Um, there's, there's a switcher for your channels. But the, the, the channels are programmed inside here. So you take the side unit off and you access the uh, programmer. So that's quite quite neat. <coughs> These versions have got um, Marconi written on it. Now, um, the 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 newer versions. Well, the newer versions are encrypted. <coughs> so the newer versions are encrypted, but the, this is the uh, older version that's not encrypted, and these still say Marconi on. But the newer versions are made by a company called Celex. Um, used to be Marconi Sel Selenia. Um, uh, and so that it had Marconi on it, but new versions and now I've got to um, sell X on. Um, it's got a number on the H4855, H4855. So they're also known as um, PRC4343 in the US, I believe, um, but mostly used by um, British forces. So neat, neat radio. Um, the like I say, it will go inside the pouch. Uh, the pouch will fit onto the webbing that will fit onto there and then you've got the um, standard um, earpiece that comes with it um, that would go over uh, the head underneath the uh, helmet I guess um, and then you've got your, your microphone on there so uh, a, a neat pair of radios uh, in the collection here uh, I just wish that we could get them on the air but I'm not going to try that one um, just have to uh, um, just imagine that um, you can just imagine that the quality of them, you know, um, for one ones that are using the forces are, are of decent quality. Okay, so that's the look at the personal role radio. Um, I hope you found that was interesting. Uh, I do love um, uh, reviewing and having a look at um, uh, military uh, radios I think they're really interested in the design concepts um, and the history of, of the military radio I, I find fascinating um, so every time I get my hands on anything that is of interest I'll share that on the channel so um, if you've got any experience with these uh, if you want to add any more information please add that to the comments um, and if there's any any other types of military radio that you want me to go into more detail on please put that in the comments as well uh, and if I've, got, if I've actually got one of these radios in my little collection I can dig that out and go a bit more detail if I haven't got it in the collection then uh, I'm sure I can get my hands on uh, pretty much any sort of decommissioned radio within reason um, and, and, and do an in-depth look at them so okay well until next time um, I look forward to the next video so bye bye for now